Hello, comrade. Hello, oh, no. <laughs> Stalin found the poop sock. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to No Step Back, the new Hoi 4 DLC where you can play DLC, 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 $14.99. And today we're looking at the new monarchist path for Russia. One of those paths that made the tankies explode. I'm sorry. Heckin' monarchism in my Russia? In my World War II game? No way, man. Time to put on the thigh highs of rage. Unfortunately for you, though, I am politically barren. There is not a single opinion left in me worth noting. What years of map games do to a mf -er. At this point, I have become a sentient program willing to play map games for the end of eternity. The Soviet Union! So cool! So red! So Soviet! It would be a shame if someone was to hang out in Siberia and overthrow it. I've been hurt so many times by historical AI focuses off, but, um, should I do it? Should we do it? Ah, oh, screw it. I'll give it a go. The worst thing that can happen is that Japan will declare war on me. Hello everybody, welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, where we have big army. It's so b oops Davey. We're not gonna need an army where we're going. So, in this ginormous Soviet focus tree, there lies a secret. You can tell it's a secret, because apparently they didn't want you scrolling all the way over here to find it. Beaten, but not defeated. Just like my cop. The cool thing about this focus, alright? Start the process towards the Soviet Civil War. So heckin' amazingly cool. Have you ever dreamed about cheese? They have cheese in Russia. Just showing about the idea of Russian cheese makes me kind of want to vomit. Yes, we have cheese, ISP. How dare you be so racist? It's made out of potato! It's not cheese, buddy. <laughs> That's just vodka. Alright, so what we're gonna heckin' do is start to move ourselves closer to the Second Russian Civil War. We also need to set up our secret headquarters in Cheetah. Oh, uh, Stalin appears to be a bit angry. It's alright, he's too focused on the Trotskyists and blah 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 fact. There's no way he'll actually <laughs> have any idea that somehow the monarchists are still alive over here. But before we get into that, quick intermission for today's sponsor. Ah, the Roman Empire. A civilizing force bringing prosperity, art, culture, and most importantly, taming those barbarians. What about you, good sire? What do you have to offer your civilization? Pillaging! Oh, oh, well, uh, the, the, the Roman Empire was one of the biggest empires ever. <laughs> what about you? Pill it! You have big, stupid hat! Well, uh, that's, that's a little unfair there, buddy. I mean, you're wearing a stupid hat too! Well, my hat's historically inaccurate. Unlike yours, toilet brush head! <laughs> Alright, that's it! That's right, today's sponsor, Rise of Kingdoms. Rise of Kingdoms is a real-time strategy game with a rise of civilizations you can choose to lead. Every civilization has its unique soldiers, architectures, commanders, and its own buff like a traditional strategy game. Upgrade your buildings, train your soldiers, cultivate your commanders, and research technology to improve your combat power. Personally, I'm picking the Romans because damn do they have the coolest hats around and look at my boy Caesar go. Tired of boring battles? Not in Rise of Kingdoms where you can choose between your 12 different civilizations to lead and actually have some realistic and hardy battles. Battles. So go ahead and get started with Rise of Kingdoms today by clicking my link down below, get yourself a whole bunch of in-game goodies, and be entered into a good way to win a iPhone 13 and AirPods Pro. Well, I say, if you don't want to pick the Romans like I did, maybe you could do something uh, a, a bit more dastardly, a bit more horrifying, a bit more pillaging. Help me rid the world of silly little Roman toilet brush head once and for all. Click link down below. <laughs> Now back to the video! Although I think technically he was still actually kidnapping older uh, uh, Russian Tsarist <laughs> generals in France during this time period, so maybe he does know a thing or two. You know what, Japan? I'm not gonna give you diddly squat. I don't need your help. So Stalin's just gonna go around shooting his generals and stuff like that. Uh, more power to you. Hashtag queen stuff. And in the meantime, as soon as we do our embrace the black hundreds, we will actually start infiltrating little provinces around us. Unless your name is Boko and Wan, and you'll conveniently miss this until I tell you to do it. I did this once in Iron Man, and uh, you can actually get quite a bit of land, but all we really want to do is just kind of do epic gamer encirclement 
elements of the Russian land, as you can see, our little uh, glowy line is what we own so far. Uh, it went okay in Iron Man, I think. I think. Uh, you want to keep Stalin's paranoia as low as possible so you can get a lot done. And also, no one cares about the goddamn Navy. We, we saw what happened to Tsushima, alright? It didn't go too well for us when we tried it. Yeah, so, uh... Stanley walked into the crown, just started blasting. You can also spend your political power uh, telephones. You can spend your telephones on Manchurian cavalry. We're going to need a lot of Manchurian cavalry. Uh, you can also build some convenient railroads that Stalin won't question. Because why would these convenient railroads along a path of invasion do anything against him? You're not paranoid at all, are you, Mr. Stalin? The opportunity you get, you must shoot an admiral. As long as you're smart, you can actually get quite a bit of land and quite a bit of cavalry. Also, what I do is I preemptively build a whole bunch of cavalry, which you're going to see why soon. Uh, so Japan went uh, communist, and they're going to give me South Sakhalin for all that manpower. Go, f go wild, Japan. What happens if I then give it back? for arms. <laughs> Just one like immediately, but that's not a healthy looking pie chart for a communist nation. I don't even bother doing organizer wreckers. Uh, I don't think I clicked that button one time last time. Uh, we won that quickly. I'm gonna grab this extra cavalry and then we are gonna ignite the civil war. I got no way. Who could have seen this one coming? Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Let's uh, quickly deploy the cavalry to the front lines. Let's get a bunch of rise up in a few provinces, so just snake them to the nearest victory points and hopefully they survive. They won't survive. Won't be a pretty invasion, but it will be a efficient, quote unquote. Oh my god, look at them go. The little pony make it to Moscow. Oh, almost. Now hold on. Force attack. He made it to Moscow. <laughs> my tip is called cavalry. Get more cavalry. You can get them out of your bonuses really cheaply. And you just put these bad boys down and start running. It's all about maneuver warfare. And, um, well, not a lot of maneuver really because there's there's no real soviet troops anywhere Yoink. there you go easy peasy lemon squeezy uh you can get this done even quicker uh i think when i first did it i got it done like halfway not even halfway through the year 1938 um it just it really gets dependent on um well how stupid the AI is. Uh, yeah, probably don't need this uh, 111 cavalry now, so we'll just delete that. Uh, some nations do break free during the uprising, so you just might have to kill a couple extra people. But yeah, because you can deploy on the front line, if you just have a bunch of calves saved up, you can, you can win this war, um, well, pretty much instantly if you just snake hard enough. Because every time you take a victory province, a VP as they may be known, uh, you actually get enemy desertions and Stalin's surrender limit goes down a lot quicker. Uh, St. Petersburg would be cool, but also it's a really annoying place to get supply from. Uh, whereas Moscow, quite literally, is set up for it. So we're gonna go with Moscow today. Boom! There you go! Soviet Union no more. You have to say, unless you're doing non-historical though, um, this nation is pretty incredibly weak, considering if you even get lucky and get it done. At the start of 1938, which is possible, maybe even sooner, um, well, you're, you're also a whole year behind everyone else, and you just got out of civil war. Yeah, your country looks like this, um, whilst Germany has already taken Czechoslovakia, so yeah, it's not too good. But I mean, yeah, you also obviously don't have to hand over your oil rights, or Sakhalin, or Vladivostok to the Japanese or the Germans, uh, respectively, which is good. And, uh, yeah, look, you're just a big white blob. Uh, I don't like this Europe. Why, why have everyone joined up ally -eth? Once again, I do have to say that these parts of the focus tree are a little bit too long. There's a couple extra ones I would remove just because it's so damn long to get them done. And you have so many other focuses to do over here. Again, this nation's a little weak, but, um, I don't think it's supposed to be strong. I'll be real with you. All right. I feel like I'm getting NATO'd here. Well, 22 billion focuses after actually winning the Civil War, and it's him! It's Vladimir the Third. Whoever the hell that is. Whatever dragling left of the Romanovs, I imagine. Point, we can either do monarchist, or we can do fascist, which, um... 
both of them kind of suck. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to go down here to pan-slavic nationalism, because it gives everyone an event that is Slavic to join me, which, um, that'd be interesting. Oh, let's see if people want to join my cool little nation. Uh, Germany went to war with the Allies, and, uh, the Allies completely surround them. So we've got a real World War One situation going here. Meanwhile, though, it's 1940, and I am still building up. You have an absolutely, um, ridiculous amount of guns, though. Uh, <laughs> I guess I don't really need to be producing these anymore, do I? Well, I see this is going to go well. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, didn't go well at all. Really, Poland, you didn't join? Come on. I could have saved you! I don't even know what I'm gonna do here, so I'm just gonna declare war on the Allies, I think. Let's see how this goes, shall we? Oh, <laughs> I mean, I got no other friends, so why not, Germany? A prize attack from the Manchurian cavalry that I still have! One thing I've noticed about new DLC is the AI really does, uh throw out a bunch of units. Kinda cool is I actually can integrate these lands now that I've done the Pan-Slavic Union. So, uh, I will get cores on Bulgaria. Uh, yeah, I'm just grinding out my generals because, um, during the purge, we may have ran out of people to actually put in the, uh, officer corps up here. Actually, doing the cores on Bulgaria? Not bad at all. Just got a whole bunch of factories from Bulgaria. Thank you. Germany wasn't gonna go through Belgium, so I guess I'll do it myself. There we go. Everything's going great. My Turkey just joined the Allies. That's that's a unfortified border there. Wait, is this a separate war? I'm not in this. Okay, never mind. Don't care. Right. Let's give it a go, shall we? We just need to get a bit of naval superiority, and I can do that with my naval bombers. Well, there you go, bomb enough, there they go. Go, boys, go! Here's hoping there's not too many pesky British people around. Also, my mechanize isn't quite ready, but they're gonna have to do. I thought there'd be a bit more of a resistance, honestly, but um, I also haven't really done naval invasion of Britain this uh, patch, so maybe they're just stupider than usual. That was not difficult in the slightest. Uh, in the slightest. Well, yeah, I was expecting a little bit more there. Player-led conferences on, so I'm not that really interested in taking much land here. I just uh, took all the Balkans, because I can get calls on Yugoslavia, and then I took Turkey, because why not? Well, India was still involved in this, so I uh, guess I got the final laugh in that old great game, eh, UK? Look at that, I get to integrate Yugoslavia. Shame I can't get the other two, didn't really get a chance for that one. And yeah, I don't feel like you, um, you really deserve the credit for that one, Germany. I think that's probably all she wrote for today. Uh, we could also roll over the Germans, but it really wouldn't be that difficult at this point in the game. Industry, as the kids do say, do be popping. This chisel do be bussin'. Uh, yeah, this is interesting, I suppose. I think what's most interesting about all of this, really, is that you get to see how fast you can win the Civil War. Like I said, my other game, I got it done even quicker, which is, um, uh, very interesting, because I think Paradox originally said they wanted to make this incredibly difficult, and, um, it's really not. The only problem is it, it is a late game kind of scenario, which makes sense, okay, because the absurdity of bringing back the Tsar to Russia in that period is definitely a bit bonkers. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that's uh, a difficult part about it. But, uh, yeah, also just make sure, guys, you don't have to offer up your, your behinds to the Japanese and the Germans. You can do it without their support. Um, so, if you want to go get the achievement for doing the Tsars or whatever, there probably is one I haven't checked, uh, th that you can go do it. It's easy. It's easy peasy. The only really annoying thing I had is that I just had no guys to get any army experience at all. I had to make all of my guys, and, uh, yeah, it, 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 it was uh, it was a bit of a pain, considering I had to actually use that army experience. But don't sleep on your army command, alright? Because motorization drive, and I think uh, there's these ones as well, yeah, like you get the engineer company unit design cost. If you just juggle between these, um, especially this one right here, it makes designing your templates for tanks and motorizer mechanized free. You can do it without, you know, spending the the uh, army XP. I mean, you have to spend the 50 to get here, but if you're making actual big chonky boys like this, it pays off. Yeah, make sure you're doing that. There's also a few more interesting ones in here that you can do, but um, that's the one that kind of saves you bacon a lot. And, uh, this one as well, for setting up your, uh, your, uh, what's it called? The, the, the vision that shoots everyone. The, uh, the, 
the the territorial management division because you just um, the, the meta thing to do with this is just to have an entire template filled out with cavalry and that'll put down any resistance and with the uh, proper heritage one you can do that for free and don't have to waste your damn army XP on the cavalry but yeah that's just a handy tip with I sorrow productions here's another tip Go to bed. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe down below. Do that. 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 Do that.